Hi guys, so today I'm going to continue working with the new Spellbinders collection by Yana Smakula. It's the Anemone Blooms collection, just super gorgeous. She's such an artist. Um, big fan here of Yana, she's so sweet. Um, so Spellbinders did send these items free of charge for my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So thanks for using those. In the last video, I kind of walked through everything in the collection, um, and we used the dyes that do the Anemone Bloom you know, dies, right? So today I'm going to use the glimmer plate. So it's the glimmer plate plus this, um, you know, cutting die if you want to use it, you know, so you can put it wherever or just, you know, put it on your project and leave it at that. It also comes with the word friend and this gorgeous script. So the word friend with a background Sorry, die. But what, 15 uh, seconds in already tongue tied. <laughs> we'll be using this set today uh, in some fashion there. I'm going to use the inside card uh, glimmer plate sentiments so again they're a little bit longer they're like meant for the inside of a card but you can definitely um put these on the outside of your card too I like all these ones that are just a little bit longer i read through them in the original unboxing video so or some of them i'll have that link in the description box you can check that out and today i think i'm going to use the wonderful script dies to kind of help us finish out our card again uh the word beautiful um you hello and oh you know what? i think this might be upside down i think it's wonderful Let's see. so we have those different uh, words with the background dies also. So what I'm going to do is fire up my glimmer. I'm going to cut down some paper because we're going to need something for the inside of the card to uh, do that. Of course, you can definitely put it right on the inside of your card. I'm going to do it more like a um, insert, but it's just going to be, you know, stuck down. So a piece for that. Definitely do an A2 size card because that's just the size I normally go to. And so let me uh, fire up the glimmer and get some paper going, grab some foil that I would like to use, and I'll okay. grab it. So while that's heating up, I do have a few things here. I have some really smooth, kind of heavyweight cardstock. The weight doesn't really matter so much. Like if you're using a thinner piece of cardstock, you can definitely just put like maybe a little extra piece of paper that's also thin you know on top of um, your plates or in the middle just to give it a shim um, but this one is thicker and it's cut down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths and I'm gonna mat it into a black card base and <laughs> one of the sentiments here is just really funny it says I love knowing that no matter what uh, no matter sorry how much time passes you'll always be older <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one for literally all my sisters. Uh, I have two sisters, but I'm the baby. I'm the baby of the family, can you tell? All right, so <laughs> let's see here. Uh, gold foil. Um, you know, obviously you can use any color. I really just love the classic look of gold. And I have a black card base that I'm going to be using. I think that'll look really nice. So, again, a lot of times if I have little extra bits, I'll kind of put them in here, like of the foil. Because what you want to do is basically cut yourself a piece that is not much bigger than what you're trying to foil, right? Um, that way you don't get a lot of overfoiling, you're also not wasting your foil and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm gonna eyeball this one. Looks like we're just, you know, it's probably a little bit too long, hold on. A little bit too much, but that's okay. We're gonna have to trim this off anyway because I need to get a piece that'll cover my whole anemone bouquet. So whenever you're placing it out here and you're going to then flip it over and put it on your um, glimmer, well, a couple things. So let's pay attention to the way the wording is and it should be this way. But also the pretty color needs to be facing you. So it's quite possible that, um, let's put that there. Uh, oh, you know, I should turn this upside down this other way. Sometimes people put it this way and then this way and then you run it through and that is not good for when you're putting it here. If you're putting it on your glimmer system, you are going to put your foil plate facing up, right, your words or whatever, image facing up, this with the silver facing up, and then your card because it's going to push the color in. But when you're doing it here, you're setting it up in a way that you're seeing the color because that color is going to be pushed in, right? So that's the best way I can remember. <laughs> and I'm just eyeballing this, guys. I think that looks pretty good as far as how straight it is. Um, and you can hinge it. I normally just tape it down because that's it. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing for this one. You know, looking at my anemones here, I think they look gorgeous, something like that. And I'm just going to put it like in this bottom kind of corner. So I'll get a piece of the foil that will fit under this and I'll just hinge it, you know, put some tape, just a little tape and I'll, and I'll run back. these through separately because that's just how I do things. So 
grab this guy and what's nice about the glimmer is that it does the work for you you don't have to guess how much time this plate needs to be touching the uh, surface okay I'm gonna put it a little bit crooked I don't know I just like that and our plates so last time I did have a shim in here I don't need it for right now for what we're doing here and you have both these plates you know use both of them use one of them whatever it is that you like um, that you need it's basically both of them to be honest I've never not used both and I put them on now just because I like that and I pressed the timer button Ooh, I was talking too much probably <laughs> before I press the timer but basically set it on there put your plates at least that's how I like to do it press timer and when this turns solid green that means you're ready to go and you can roll it through your machines. I have the Platinum 6. It will also go through the larger Platinum machine because, you know, it's a roller system. Um, and you just put it through. Or um, some of the, like, Big Shot, these kind of machines. There's a whole list associated with the page that goes through the Glimmer. And I will have that linked in the description box also for you. And, uh, yeah, so I'll just wait for that to stop flashing and I'll be back. Glimmer went solid. Oh, it's hard to see, but down here. So let me bring this out, and then I'll do essentially the same thing with the, um, the image. Bring it through, and sometimes I'll go back in the other direction. If you feel like it's moved at all, then don't do that because you can maybe get some overfoiling you don't want. But let's put that back in there just to get ready for the next one. And there is our sentiment. Just lovely. Okay, I'll do the same thing for our it's image. Warming up again. I pushed it in there. Oh, it's ready. <laughs> it's literally been seconds. I thought, oh well, you know, while it's on or waiting. Um, but as you can see, like maybe between the R, there's like a little space where you can still see all gold. You can just come in with an eraser and just rub over the top because essentially these plates are like letterpress, so it pushes it in there and it also foils. So just running over the top will take any little extra bits that are, you know, obstructing your lettering or your image. Okay, so again, like I said, same thing. Again, do not forget, plate needs to touch the surface. And why am I so adamant about talking about that? Because I forget. I'll even forget, like, when I make a video like this, <laughs> having talked about it, you know. Press timer, and when it's ready to go, I'll run it through and I'll be back. And while that is uh, getting ready, I have this 5x7 card base. That's a black card base. Uh, I'm just going to cut it down to 45 by I'm sorry, four and a quarter by 5.5 for an A2 size. Because honestly, I don't use 5x7 too often. So to use this card blank for my purposes, I'm going to just cut it down. And that means don't cut this side, right? The hinge side. Just cut it 5.5 this way, 4 and a quarter this way. I'll be back. I'll just plug that back in, but I'm going to turn this off because I'm done for now I believe and let me get this guy nope doesn't say oh yeah okay this guy will be hot oh so gorgeous oh my gosh you guys and so these things okay I'm trying to I mean like I mean I again I've had the best luck with foiling whenever I use my glimmer and this piece here you can definitely just use later that's still hot <laughs> for um, something else so we have um, over there at Spellbinders they have plates that are just shapes like ovals or circles or squares or whatever so this piece here as you can see is perfect you would just get those plates put on the one side, put on your paper, and it'll have that oval shape, but it'll have this image burned in, right? So whatever color your paper is will be showing through, and then the foiling will be there. So it's just a great way to use something gorgeous like this. Um, yeah, just another thought. Okay, uh, I'm going to put all these things away, and I'll be right back. So, <laughs> so shimmery, it makes the camera, like, not know what's going on. We have our card base, again, that I just cut down, so I will adhere this on the inside. You can use any kind of die if you don't want it just to be straight-sided. That'd be really cute. Um, and then this guy. So what I was thinking, because we're going to do some other, you know, with our lettering, add some a little extra. I left this down here. I could take this same die or plate, hold it on here, and come around and do some inking. But you have to really hold it. Maybe, you know, you might move around a little bit, do a little scrubbing of what you don't want to. So what I'm going to do instead is run this through with just a scrap piece of paper. And then uh, I'm going to do some inking around. I think that'll be fun. So I'm just going to run this through just to have this, and so I'll be right back. If you're doing this with this, you just hold it, you know, and just be careful as you're holding it. And it would get right into the, all these little crevices. So it's going to be a little bit different with this one because obviously this is kind of like an outline die. So it's going to leave a little bit 
I mean, it's right on there, but it's, you know, still leaving the smallest amount. So that's pretty good. So I'm just going to take some pink ink, and I'm not sticking this down anyway, because um, I think it'd be better for the foiling not to stick it down anyway, but then you can just kind of come in here and just add a little color or something. Just a whisper of something, you know, and you can check it and see if you think that's where you want to be. I was kind of wondering if I should just do on this top part, but maybe it's best if it goes all the way around, huh? And just kind of, not coloring this whole thing out here, but somewhat. And a little bit out here. There. like just a little something a little blush now we can also come in and do the flowers maybe you want to add a little bit of the same color I think that'd be cute so for that I'm gonna use like a finger dauber let me grab one of these guys <laughs> don't mind that my finger daubers have a skull on them all right here we go. and I'll use the same color I really like that color but uh, maybe something else you can definitely do that and just kind of come in here Just soft with a little color. Oh, that's so cute. Um, another thing is that the middle of an anemone is kind of dark, so what I'm going to do is get a finger dauber, same thing, but just add a little black ink right in here and right in here, okay? And I'll be right back. Super careful with that, just like the smallest amount. You can do this in different ways, but just to darken that little center. Um, and then... I probably should have done that first before I did the black. What I usually do whenever you have foiling or anything like that and you use ink over it, the ink kind of does get on the foiling, like you can see that. So you can just bring a fresh kind of towel, fresh, obviously I've used it, but it's dry, and just get rid of that extra inking so it'll be a little different with the black. I'm gonna dab, dab, dab that part. And now I can turn it. Just make sure I'm not spraying that everywhere. And then again, cleaning up that gold, okay? And I'll be right back. So I'm just going to glue the inside in. And I'm going to keep this relatively flat, but if you wanted to pop up like the whole top outside, that'd be really nice because um, it's mostly kind of like a note card until I put my sentiment, die cut sentiment on the outside. Oh, I'm way up. <laughs> Hold on. No, no, no. That's better. And I'll just glue this top down the same way. And then I'm going to run through, let me see. We're gonna do a hello beautiful, maybe just beautiful. Maybe just hello. Hmm, hmm. Let's do the word beautiful. And I think I'm gonna run this through black paper just to bring black out into this. So I will be right back. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is delicate. Of course, we have, uh, again, a background dye if you want to, you know, use that too. I want it to be really just, like, super delicate on there, so let's get this guy uh -uh, out of there. There we go. And there and there. And whenever I put glue on something like this, I just put glue on the back of my hand and just dab it in there. It's the easiest way for me. Oh, I got all kinds of things stuck on there. <laughs> all right. So... And just kind of bring it in. It's stuck together with the F and the T, which are both delicate, so I'm just going to get that on there. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to see that that's straight, and that this part kind of comes in straight too. As straight as I think, right? So I might go up a little bit here. Okay, I'm gonna let that set up and I'll be okay, right so there back. is our gorgeous card. I mean, it takes seconds, right, as far as the foiling. And then I did some extra stuff. I just left that beautiful on there. Just so it looks like it's like just written there. I think that's really lovely. I went ahead and grabbed these guys. I think this will be fun to just add a few little sparkly bits. So this guy, oh. I'm not really quite pushing them down yet just to see kind of what we got going first. 
These guys are a little chunkier than maybe maybe just one down here. I always like you know odd numbers so one, three, five, those kinds of things so just one by itself I really like too so there it is and then just kind of an everyday card but you have I hope your day is as special as you are friend so pretty thank you so much Spellbinders for these items for review thanks for watching guys I'll have images coming up I'll have the links in the description box and I will see you all at the next one bye now Thank mm -hmm. you.